I posted a video earlier and um, I thought it posted, but it I recorded a video when I woke up and um, there was a radio very, very quietly playing in the background and I tested it out to see if you could hear the radio and you couldn't. But anyways, the video can't be posted because the social media platform could hear the radio in the background. So, um, I had two hours of sleep last night. You know, I'm in so much pain. I often wonder what, what is gonna, you know, what, what's gonna push this over the edge because it's a precarious situation, right? I'm in, I'm in distress. I'm in medical crisis. I need medical care. And all it's going to take is, is, you know, too much of one thing or another crisis rolling along or, you know, crisis in the house or pain re reaching a threshold I can't handle or just one more, you know, another infection and I can't get to the doctor or, you know, another broken bone or just, you know, it doesn't even matter what at this point. It's just, it's too much, right? It's just the situation is already tipping over the edge, right? Um, like, you know, maybe this, the, I'm in a lot of pain. Maybe the pain will just tip the scales for me. And it's a precarious situation, you know. Um, I'm sleeping upright. I'm in so much pain. My skull, my jaw, my teeth, my sinuses. My It feels like all my ro teeth are rotting out. It feels like I'm lose. I am losing teeth. I, I'm losing teeth. You know, I'm losing my permanent teeth. It's it's insane. My teeth are killing me. My jaw is killing me. My sinuses are killing me. I'm sleeping upright in a chair and just to put my head down hurts so bad. I feel like I, I my sinuses are infected again. Uh, I just finished a couple rounds of antibiotics um, a couple, two weeks ago or something. Um... I can't fight off infection, right? I'm sleeping two hours a night. Um, I need medical treatment. I stopped CPAP. I couldn't have the pain anymore. My sinus is just excruciating pain. S jaw pain, skull pains. I, st I have severe apnea. I stopped the CPAP treatment on December 16th at the risk of heart attack, stroke, death, at the risk of not waking up. And um, I, I thought a lot of the pain would go away. I thought a lot of the pain was coming from the CPAP. Putting the CPAP on top of this is just, just, beyond what I can handle. I can't, I can't handle the pain anymore. I don't understand where the pain is coming from. I mean, I have carry malformation. My skull is rammed in there, right? So all sorts of things could be going wrong. My dentist couldn't find anything. They, they, I don't know. The dental pain continues. Uh, teeth loss continues. Now it's excruciating jaw pain. I don't understand. It could be the Chiari malformation is doing all of this. The teeth loss, I'm not sure what that's about. I've seen really sick people with different diseases lose their teeth. And, you know... It doesn't have to necessarily be directly from that disease. It could just be because you're just so sick. 
it uh, teeth loss can be maybe from inflammation. It could be, you know, I have significant nerve damage. It could be, you know, from that I'm having muscle loss, muscle wasting and muscle loss. My teeth also could be being attacked from, you know, complex nerve damage. I don't, I think it's just from being just so sick. I, I thought it was from CPAP. I don't know. But you know what? I, I, I stopped CPAP on the 16th. My teeth are killing me. My jaw is killing me. My just, my sinuses are killing me. I, I would swear my sinuses are infected again, and I don't really know. My sinuses just were destroyed by a surgeon here, and it's just constant infections. I don't know. I don't understand. Thought it was from CPAP. I thought CPAP was making that worse. And, you know, no matter how much you clean your CPAP machine, you're breathing in your own, your own germs and air all night, you know. You're, you're breathing in air from the room, but you're recycling it. You're breathing your own air back in that mask. It's not hygienic, you know. But the jaw and the skull and the pain all night is like like almost on the verge where I'm I'm about to lose my mind or like lose touch with reality. Like can pain get that bad? I bet you it can. I bet you you can start hallucinating or lose lose touch with reality. How bad can pain get? I have no family doctor. I have no vehicle. I'm really, I'm I'm too sick to go around and and try to convince doctors to help me when I'm sleeping two hours a night. I need you know I need help with this. I need help with medical care. I lost my vehicle because I couldn't get medical care. I lost my vehicle. And that was really catastrophic as far as everything. Getting groceries, taking care of myself, getting medical care. I never realized the extent of how badly losing your vehicle can affect your life, your quality of life, affect your medical care. Um, I can't take... You know, I really, because my breathing is so impaired, I really can't take powerful drugs. I need my, I need, like, I, the longer this is unaddressed, the more and more medical issues are going to keep happening. I'm going to have a stroke. I'm going to have a, a heart attack. I'm, you know, I mean, I'm going to continue to lose all my teeth. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a human being not sleeping, right? I, I'm in medical crisis. And the longer this sleep issue, the Chiari malformation is not receiving treatment, I'm going to continue to decline or just completely go over the edge, you know? Like, I'm literally being tortured. But the pain is unbearable. The isolation, the, you know... I can't do anything. I can't go anywhere. I can't make money. I can't socialize. I can't get medical care. Where am I supposed to turn to? <laughs>